Right, small wheels back on. Hi guys, rubber band power time. I converted this radio control Ferrari to rubber band power by putting this uh, cor Corex or plastic cardboard stuff inside it to replace the radio control running gear. So it was just cardboard, rubber band, bamboo skewers and wheels same sort of size as those wheels are now and it struggled to do the length of the kitchen so just as a demonstration of the difference I'm going to stick some of my CD wheels on here and see how it runs so CD wheels same bamboo skewers for the axles and just see how much easier it is for it to get up and down the kitchen using big wheels instead of small wheels. It's very simple, it's the number of turns of rubber you get around the axle. So you get 10 turns. Well, 10 rotations of that little wheel compared to 10 rotations of that big wheel. You measure the circumference and you'll find the circumference of that one it's going to be something like, what, a quarter of the circumference of that one? Or even, at best, half the circumference. So, for every turn of this one, it'll go much further than it would have done for every turn of that one. I'll show you what I mean. So, same chassis, same axle, or axle type, but CD wheels. So I'll just wrap the rubber band round. Don't even need to use the second rubber band. Much easier to get the distance. And you might have noticed that the rubber band flicked off and we still had a good freewheel. So the bigger wheels give us a better freewheeling as well. Off we go again. Try a couple of runs to demonstrate the difference between the big and the small wheels and try and superimpose them. I'm not quite sure how well that will work, but I'll give it a try. So we've got the big wheels on it at the moment, we'll do a run and then I'll put the small wheels back on it. First of all we'll just wind it up with the yellow band and the big wheels. So the green band isn't actually going onto the axle. So we've stopped just there. That's done the full distance easily. Right. Small wheels back on, green rubber band up to the axle, so same number of turns. Well, the rubber band came off about two meters up there.
I don't think I need to superimpose it. There's such a significant difference that it's quite easy to see. But I will chase it with the camera this time just so we can actually see when it comes off. So, same position. So nothing like the same distance. And in fact, rubber band came off at about this point, which yeah is about two meters from the lot, the original start line. These white lines are one meter apart, but that's about half a meter from there to there. And it was about half a meter to where the rubber band stopped. So we got about two meters of rubber band power when we're using the small wheels. So I hope that helps. If you've got a choice on the size of wheels, then bigger will probably get you further. There are other, are other things that come into play leverage or gearing if the wheels are too big the rubber band can't even turn them so you may have to experiment to get the best out of your car but from my experience wheels this small are hopeless if you're trying to get some sort of distance small wheels will give you acceleration but they won't give you the distance